Kaleidoscope, a weekly public affairs program brought to you in partnership with the Urban League of Greater Cleveland, Kaleidoscope Magazine, and News Channel 5. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the broadcast today. The Marcus Garvey Academy, a local charter school for grades K through 8, recently received a rating of excellent from the Ohio Department of Education. Its founder and deputy head, Alexandria Johnson Boone, is here to talk more about the school today and plans for expansion in the fall. Also, we will hear from Vietnam veteran H. Wesley Ricks, who is a pentatonic flutist and a leather artist. And we're going to hear some rather unusual music I think you will like it. I know you will. And later in the broadcast, Anthony Smith of Lutheran High School East Alumni Association and Kenneth Legrand of Horns and Things will talk about a jazz event to benefit that school. We'll have some jazz music as well this morning. A lot of music's in the air. Good morning again. I'm Leon Bibb. This is Kaleidoscope, and so we begin. Beginning with a good friend, Alexandria Johnson Boone, founder, deputy head of the Marcus Garvey Academy. Hey, Alex. How are you doing, Leanne? I'm okay. That's You're doing great. well? I've been tremendously blessed. Yeah. I can't complain. Yeah. yeah. The school is doing well, Marcus Garvey Academy, which right. is a charter school. Right, mm -hmm. right. Uh, we started on April 4th, 2002. Uh -huh. I remember the exact date and time when my contract was signed by the state, and we've been going, moving forward ever since. Mm -hmm. Now, so what's going on there? Now, we're, we're, first off, where's the school located? Okay, we're in the Glenville area. Mm -hmm. We're in the Shore Bank Enterprise Center, and it's right at 540 East 105th Street. Mm -hmm. Just before you go under the bridge to Bratnall. Right on the Cleveland Bratnall line. Exactly, there, on the, on the right, right on the line, yeah, exactly yeah. right. And you've been involved with this for some years now. Yeah, this is our ninth year. We're starting our ninth year, and um, we were, um, we're currently. Um, we have grades four through uh, K through eight, yeah. but we were recently authorized by the state to expand to grade twelve. So now we're a K through twelve school. And that starts in the fall. Well, actually, we're going to do K through nine in the fall, and mm -hmm. then we'll add a grade each year until mm -hmm. we reach twelfth grade. Right. Your school, the Marcus Garvey Academy, mm -hmm. just received an excellent rating from the Ohio Department of Education. Yay. What's the significance <laughs> of this? It is it is very significant for us, mm -hmm. and I think it's a, a a good boon for the charter school business here in Cleveland mm -hmm. because you know charter school Schools are looked at as schools that deal with children who are only at risk and the kids can't learn so they get dropped off to charter schools and you know there's a movement in some areas against charter schools so for an urban charter school like ours with meager beginnings in 2002 to receive an excellent rating from the state mm -hmm. is a huge deal tell me a little bit about the curriculum there for your grades K through 8 or K through 9 as you K start through nine. In, in, right. uh, in the fall right we open on August 26 actually um, our curriculum is a standard curriculum but we say that it's infused with Afrocentric uh, components. We have African art classes, we have computer classes, and we have the standard, you know, reading, writing, and arithmetic. Mm -hmm. And um, we have taught our children based on the standards. The state has achievement standards, and we have found through years of experience that training our students to, mm -hmm. to perform on the proficiency tests and, and to uh, um, accomplish based on the standards is the way to get ourselves an excellent rating. What's, what's the tuition? There is no tuition. What's really nice about charter schools is that we're funded by the state of Ohio and the federal government, so there is no tuition. So how do the kids get in? How do the students get in? What must parents do if they would like to, uh, to take a look at the Marcus Garvey well, they, Academy? They can come over to the school anytime. Um, we're on summer hours, but there's some staff people there at all mm -hmm. times. In fact, right now we have summer school, so I would invite parents to come over and take a tour of the school and meet mm -hmm. our fabulous teachers. Mm -hmm. You founded the school in 2000, 2002, Two, right? Right, Marcus correct. School at right. 540 East 105th Street right. at the, in the Shore Bank Enterprise uh, uh, building. Right. Right there at 105th Street as it goes into Bratton Hall, mm -hmm. almost into Bratton Hall. Right. You named it Marcus Garvey Academy. Yeah. Why did you name it Marcus Garvey Academy? What was in your mind? Well, Marcus Garvey had a, a special meaning for me because, you know, he was a man who was about... Uh, entrepreneurism mm -hmm. and that's what I've always been about as you know I've been in business in some form for the last 29 years mm -hmm. and because I felt that he was also about the Negro Improvement Association he was about people seeing positive images of people of color mm -hmm. especially African Americans mm -hmm. and I wanted us to have better images of ourselves as well yeah. so you know educating our children is something I'm not an educator I'm a businesswoman yeah. so what I did was provide the vehicle and the initial mm -hmm. funding to start the school he certainly made, made a name 
name for himself in the nineteen twenties and the nineteen thirties. Absolutely. Uh, operating, I think, out of New York City. I yes, think, that's uh, correct. Yes. Uh, let's put a telephone number on the screen for people can get more information about everything we're talking about. It is two one six four five one seventy nine ninety five, as you see at the bottom of the screen, or you can go to Marcus Garvey Academy dot com. Mm -hmm. Marcus Garvey Academy dot com. Right. When your kids walk in, how many how many students are there? We have two hundred students mm -hmm. and uh, we have about thirty thousand square feet at the Shore Bank mm -hmm. Enterprise Center and we're taking an additional floor to expand. Um, we are going to try to take as many children as we can. We're predicting 350. Um, we typically get more applications than we have space for, mm -hmm. but parents can come in anytime, yeah. Monday through Friday from 8 to 12 noon, tour the school, meet the teachers, see the kids in the classroom. They can review our excellent rating because we actually get a report card, just like the students get a report card. Mm -hmm. Well, our school gets a report card from the state, and fortunately, we made um, 14 out of 15 indicators. What do you want your youngsters to understand as they leave Marcus Garvey Academy? That Marcus Garvey is um, a place, it's a community of world-class scholars, and we're training them to survive in the world, not just in their neighborhood and not just in their community, not just in the city, not just in the state. And your funding comes from state money, so state, there's state no tuition requirement? No tuition. They mm -hmm. can come and apply. Um, and we do assessments. We test the children when they come in so that we can meet them where they are. Mm -hmm. It's so important that, you know, children of color typically learn differently than other children. And we try to meet each student where he or she is, so we do baseline testing when they enter our school, and then we administer practice tests throughout the year, mm -hmm. so they're ready for the test. It's at, located at 540 East 105th Street in the Shore Bank Enterprise Building, and uh, it is called the Marcus Garvey Academy. Alexandria Johnson Boone is its founder and deputy head. Good to have you on the broadcast. Thank you, Leon. I appreciate it. Always good it. to see you. Great to Always see good you. To see you. you. You've got a lot of things going on. I do. You're one of the busiest people in Cleveland. Trying to uphold people of color. <laughs> You're one of the busiest people in Greater Cleveland. I try to be. Thanks. Thank I'll you. Take a, I'm going to take a break right now. In a moment, we'll return. We're going to have something special for you. It, we will hear from a pentatonic flutist and the leather artist H. Wesley Ricks after this. Welcome back to more Kaleidoscope. I'm joined by Lorraine native Wesley Ricks. He plays the pentatonic flute, and he's also a leather artist, and he's currently on tour, a native of Lorraine, Ohio, and he's going to talk about his music, his service in Vietnam, and, he has, and how he uses music as therapy after he returned from the war in Vietnam. Good to have you with us, Wes. Good to be here. H. Man. Wesley Ricks, good to have you here. Thank you. Tell me about, tell me about the, uh, 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 the, the pentatonic flute, and, and what is a pentatonic flute? Well, it's... Uh the simplest way to explain it is Native American mm -hmm. and um, it has five um, octaves to every uh, note mm -hmm. it has 12 notes in its scale and um, I it's a, a to me it's the purest sound that you can get yeah it is a beautiful almost haunting sound as our audience will hear in ju just just a little bit mm -hmm. uh, when did you first hear it and what got you involved in it well I, I first heard it in Arizona Mills Mall in Tempe Arizona I, I heard it long before that but it captured me there yeah. because I was in the mall and I mm -hmm. heard it over all the other music in yeah. the mall and so uh, Sergio was playing uh, he's a friend of mine, mm -hmm. and uh, he told me that he knew that I was going to play the flutes when I was approaching him, and and I did. My wife and I. And you taught yourself. You yes, taught yourself. I taught myself. Now you use this in with, with therapy Absolutely. For, for many people who suffer from post-traumatic stress syndrome. Yes. We, we learned of that from the war in Vietnam, where you served. And uh, how, how does this help with therapy, with with helping you, and how does this help others? Well, it has a calming effect. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, it affects children, babies, even infants. It makes them stop crying. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's so. It's like. The veterans, they uh, they really love it. It calms them down. I've had many comments yeah. from veterans as well as staff saying mm -hmm. how the calming effect yeah. it has. It takes them back in the past, the present, as well as the future. Now, I know you're going to be you're going to be performing at the Lewis Stokes VA uh, 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 VA Hospital Community Festival on Saturday, August the seventh at correct. eleven o'clock. You're going to be performing there. Yes, but you're going to give us a little little treat. You're going to give us a little sample, and and I'm going to step out for a few sure. seconds, and we want to hear this thing. Absolutely, the pentatonic flute. Wesley is going to take it away. Wesley Ricks. Mm-hmm. 
Nicely done. Thank Nicely you. done, Wes. Thank you. Now, now you're going. You go on tour. You're doing a a, 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 a five month tour. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where are you going to be? I'll be in uh, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, and Louisiana three times, mm -hmm. and of course here. Yeah, yeah. You. This is a very calming effect. I mean, it, yes. it's, it's like a, it, it calms you as you play it. I see. There you go. And this is not your only one. I know you brought a bunch of them. Yes, I all, did. All kinds of different ones. Mm -hmm. And and and. and what is it about this flute that grabs your heart? Well, it takes me, as a matter of fact, when I play, it takes me somewhere. Mm -hmm. And, and I, as I'm in the world of my own. Mm -hmm. And it has the calming effect. It just calms me right down. A lot of times I get emotional when I play. Yeah. Yeah. And the, may, many other vets, veterans of the yes. military, who may suffer from, yes. from post-traumatic stress. You yes. told me earlier you had a you had a, a, a touch of that suffering from post-traumatic yes. stress after your tour of duty in Vietnam yes. with the U.S. Navy. Yes. Yeah. What did you do with, with the U.S. Navy at that time? I was a river rat, as they call it, mm -hmm. on the river boats. Yes. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. And uh, I patrolled the rivers, in Da Nang, looking for smugglers of mm -hmm. contraband, etc. Yeah. Yeah. And so and we were often shot at. You and I were in Vietnam around the same time period. Yes. We were both over there in different parts of the country. Yes. Yeah. Well, tell me, you were born on the 4th of July. You had a special request because your birthday is the 4th of July. That's correct. Tell me about that. Well, I would love to play for the president, Barack Obama, mm -hmm. and the first family. Mm -hmm. And his wife, um, Michelle Obama, the first lady. They, they, that, that, this administration, it... It caters to the veterans, yeah. and uh, Dr. Biden, she as well works with yeah, the vice president's the wife. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's a wonderful thing to see that because they're supporting not only the troops but the families. Yeah. And that's wonderful. H. Wesley Ricks, we hope you get that opportunity to, t to, to play for the president. I hope so, Thank too. you so much. And welcome home from Vietnam. Thank you. As we and tell each other, we tell each other, Vietnam vets always welcome home. Good to have welcome you home, brother. You. Thank you very kindly. I'll take a break. Back in a minute. You said you wanted more music on this broadcast. More music you will get in just a moment. Welcome back to Kaleidoscope. We're talking about the Lutheran High School East Alumni Association. It's hosting a fundraiser on July the 31st to benefit the School Alumni Association. And Representative Anthony Smith and Ken Legrand of Horns and Things are here to talk about a jazzy night out and play a little bit about a jazzy night out. Good to have you with us, Anthony Smith and Ken, and Ken Legrand. Tell, tell me about the significance of Lutheran High School to the to the greater Cleveland community. Well, uh, Lutheran High School East is um, a four grade school, nine through twelve. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been around for fifty two years now. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we actually have a number of students that are. Uh, Although it's a Lutheran school by name, we have 98% of the students are not Lutheran. Are not just Lutheran, but, and it's got a proud, proud history, right. proud, proud heritage, located at 3565 Mayfield Road in Cleveland Heights. And you're going to have a big, big event on Saturday, July 31st. Horns and Things, Ken Legrand is going to be there. Tell me about Horns and Things and, and what, what, what you're going to do to, as this fundraiser benefit. Well, Horns and Things was asked to play the event, and uh, Horns and Things has been uh, a around for over 20 years um, and we've established ourselves as a group in the area that plays 
pretty much all original material. Mm -hmm. uh, we have four CDs that we've released, and we're in the process yeah. of releasing another. Mm -hmm. you, I know you put out a wonderful, wonderful sound. How many in the group of Horns and Things? Uh, it's five people in the group. Mm -hmm. uh, J.T. Lynch plays tenor saxophone uh, and keyboards. Derek James plays bass, Ray Harvin on drums, and Sakai Baksur mm -hmm. on keyboards. And you will be on the saxophone. I, play, on, I play saxophone yeah. and wind control. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? What, what do you think about this now? When you mix this music and you mix this fundraiser, the idea is to get people to, to come there and see the great work of, of Luther and East High School, right? Right. Yeah. And, and it's basically a, uh, a fundraiser so that we can have the students, more students, come to Luther and East. Uh, the tuition is quite high, and yeah. uh, this will help pay for. Or, uh, supplement tuition. So this is a this is a scholarship a scholarship benefit. Exactly. Yeah. And, and once again, it's going to be uh, Saturday, July the thirty first at thirty five sixty five Mayfield Road in in the community of, of uh, Cleveland Heights. Correct. That is the mission of the Alumni Association at, at Luther and East, isn't it? Is to, to raise money and draw more awareness to the school. Right. To support mm -hmm. the school, to try to keep the school alive and vibrant, um, and to support yeah. whatever items that they would like us to do. What makes it unique? Well, I think it's unique because uh, it's it is a school, a uh, parochial school, Christian-based, mm -hmm. uh, that has been there for, as I said, over 50 years. Um, we have a, a number of interesting uh, items that we do there, uh, a number of technology type yeah. of... Uh, Equipment that we use, and, so, uh, and you, you get a fine, you get a fine education. Yeah. Let me put a telephone number on the screen if we've not already done so, where you can get more information on everything we've talking about. There, there it is, eight two zero fifty eight forty. You can get more information on everything we've been t we're, we're talking about. But right now, we want to get on with Ken Legrand from Horns and Things, and you're going to play. What are you going to play? Monet's dance. Monet's dance. Yeah. The stage is yours. We'll come okay. back in a little bit, but you and I are going to step away and let the master of the saxophone do Thank his you. thing. Wonderful. Ken Legrand on the saxophone from Horns and Things. That's the kind of thing we're going to be listening to as we, as we, uh, as we uh, uh, get, get close to the date. And once again, Horns and Things is going to be playing. It's a student scholarship benefit to, for Lutheran High School East. And it's going to be Saturday, July the 31st, 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. Right there at the school. And the school is located at 3565 Mayfield Road in Cleveland Heights. Tickets are $20. And we got a telephone number on the screen. As you can see, you can get more information by dialing that number. There are two numbers, 570-3588 or 820-5840. You see those numbers on the screen. What do you want people to walk with in our last 15 seconds? What do you want people to walk away with once they come to this benefit on Saturday, July 31? Well, obviously to enjoy the, the concert, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but also to realize that they are really supporting um, yeah. a number of students who yeah. are trying to get a good education um, in our school. And yeah. So that's they're actually going to be helping with tuition. And hear the great music of Ken Legrand and Horns and Things. Thank you, Ken. Nicely.
nicely, nicely done. As always, always listen to your music. Is, oh, it touches my heart. Thank you. Good to have you both on okay. the broadcast. Thank, Thank you. you so much. I'll take a break. Back in a moment. Our pentatonic flutist, Wes Ricks, has a CD called Wes Ricks, Two Worlds, Yours and Mine. And you can get more information on this by going to his website, wesricks.com. The pentatonic flutist. Right now, here's Dorothea Santiago, Employment Services uh, Director for the Urban League of Greater Cleveland. Hey. Good morning, Leon. Good morning. How are you? What's going on? I'm fine. What's on Good. the Urban League's mind? Well, we're very excited at the Urban League because in a couple of weeks, we'll be celebrating a very historic event. The National Urban League will celebrate 100 years. Mm -hmm. 100 years yeah. servicing the community and providing services and improving lives as well. And of course, the Cleveland Urban League has been and around for a lot of years. The too. Cleveland Urban League has been around for 93 years, impacting lives and also providing wonderful services in education, training, and job search activities. So what are you going to do to, to, to commemorate this 100 years? Just keep on doing the good work that the Urban League is doing. Certainly you're going to be exactly. doing that. Exactly. And also what I wanted to mention as far as employment services, yeah. um, we are still helping individuals with their job search. So if you're unemployed or just looking for a career change, you can contact us at 622-0999. And also to our employers and the um, personnel and hiring managers if you're looking for great talent we can assist your needs as well so you're working as kind of a matchmaker between the employer exactly. who may be looking for workers and the workers who may be looking for an employer you yes. kind of yes. match them together yes. They are. And we have a database of um, individuals with um, expertise in various areas mm -hmm. from entry level to executive level. Yeah. And we also offer our facility for interviewing purposes. If an employer who has posted a job with us would like to use our services, they may do so. Um, the last couple of weeks we've hosted um, RL Controls, wire, mm -hmm. Verizon Wireless, um, Fifth Third Bank and others. Oh. Great, great, great organization. And organizations. the most important thing is it's free. Yeah, Services it's free. are all free. And they're located at 2930, 2930, if memory serves me correct, Prospect Avenue. That's at the corner of East 30th and Prospect in exactly. downtown Cleveland. And for more information, you can go to our website, which is www.ulcleveland.org to re receive more information. We got it all. That's going to do it. So Kaleidoscope, a weekly public affairs program brought to you in partnership with the Urban League of Greater Cleveland, Kaleidoscope Magazine, and News Channel 5.